Jurassic World Dominion is just around the corner and we've all seen the trailer with some absolutely phenomenal scenes and in today's video we're going to be breaking down the top five best scenes we are likely to see in Jurassic World Dominion so I hope you are ready and as always if you enjoy this video just a quick like give it a quick like and don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with everything Jurassic World Dominion related right let's get straight into today's video So hello everybody and welcome to today's video with me, Shadows, where we're going to be talking about the top five best scenes we are likely to see in Jurassic World Dominion. And it is kind of a wish list based on what we've seen on the trailer. So my personal wish list, it may be a little bit different from yours, but nonetheless they're going to be absolutely phenomenal scenes. So let's get into the first scene I really want to see in Dominion, and it's on everybody's minds that Jurassic World Dominion Rexy versus the Giga rematch. Now we've seen the initial fight in the prologue where the T-Rex and the Giga go head to head and the Giga comes out victorious. Now I want to see this again because we know there's a Gigantosaurus in Jurassic World Dominion because we've seen it in the trailer and we've seen Rexy slightly, only slightly though and I think they're keeping her under wraps so we're not seeing much screen time of her in the trailer because they're keeping that for the movie and I think they're going to be keeping that for the Giga versus is Rexy rematch and I for one are super excited to see it. What about you guys? Now as for the second scene we all want to see, remember the original Jurassic Park movie where you had all the gang together, Malcolm, Grant, Sattler, well we know they're together again in the trailer but I cannot wait to see them come together where they actually meet each other for the first time in the movie. That's going to be absolutely phenomenal for me and we haven't seen that since 1993 so I for one cannot wait to see the old gang reunite together on screen just like they did in Jurassic Park back in 1993. It'll be an absolutely huge moment and it's been two decades in the making and I cannot wait to see that. The third scene which I really really want to see in Dominion might be a little bit of a controversial one, maybe you guys don't want to see it. I want to see some type of involvement with the Spinosaurus. Now what makes me say that? We know the Spinosaurus is still alive based on Camp Cretaceous Season 4 and it actually had been taken off Isla Sauna and had been transported to a new island. Now we know that is to be the case, the Spinosaurus is still alive and I would love to see it somehow involved in Jurassic World Dominion in some shape or form. Maybe he runs into, or he or she, we don't even know if the Spinosaurus is a male or female yet, but I would like to see it run into the gang somehow or have some type of involvement in eating another dinosaur doesn't have to have a huge role in the movie but some type of involvement kind of like the Dilophosaurus is because we know the Dilophosaurus is now in the movie as well and I would love to see the Spinosaurus. Now my fourth best scene I want to really see in Dominion is a huge Rexy scene. Now everybody loves Rexy and I talked about her briefly earlier on but I want to see an absolutely phenomenal scene with Rexy. Whether that is fighting the Giga, whether that is maybe somehow an involvement with a Quetzalcoatlus, maybe involvement with Blue, I want to see a huge scene. At, at, cinema stopping scene with Rexy is what I really want to see for Dominion because it is the end of the trilogy and I really want to see that. Now my last top five, so this is the fifth one, the last one I seen I really really want to see in Jurassic World Dominion and that is some type of huge lore scene behind Biosen and how they have played in to Mizrani Global in Gen because obviously we know them from the first film where uh, I forgot his bloody name. Fat chap. <laughs> That's his name. Oh, Dennis Nedry. With Dennis, with Dennis Nedry, he's obviously sees Lewis Dogson and they meet up and he's obviously working for Biosen and that's basically all we know of Biosen and they've been behind the scenes for so many years and we know they're going to play a huge part in this movie. Now I want to know the lore behind it, what have they been doing for the past 30 odd years, how have they made all these dinosaurs, did they get the Barbasol can, have they somehow captured dinosaurs from Isla Sauna, what has been going on, I really want to know the story behind Biosen and all this is going to come to conclusion but I hope there's a 
bit of lore behind it, what have they been doing for all these years, etc, etc, to really fill in them blanks and give that sense of story to the old Jurassic Park and Jurassic World movies. And I think it will tie in absolutely lovely then, because we haven't seen them, they're going to play a huge part in this movie and I really want that. But what do you guys think? Is there anything on my top five list which I've missed and should be on there? Let me know in the comments below. I read every comment and I reply to nearly every comment, so please read. Don't forget to join my Discord and put some theories of your own there because we have lots of theory discussions in my Discord, so make sure to join that. Don't forget to join Shadows Supreme, the brand new channel, which is going to be absolutely massive. We're aiming for a thousand subscribers before I even do my first video, and we're currently at 500, so join Shadow Supreme. Now, I'd like to thank my Patreon members and YouTube members for basically bankrolling and funding these videos, so thank you very much. And if you want to support, check the links below. I have plenty more content on the planet, channel. Uh, <laughs> please go and check out the channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers now. Bye-bye. <laughs>